Uncle Hunky's fabulous horn. Sha pa 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 pa. Good evening and welcome to Uncle Hunky's fabulous horn shop. It is I, your old friend, Mr. Fireman. Tonight, we're going to make a close enough stick due to current circumstances. This will involve the art of hafting, an ancient technique of how to tie things to sticks, which you might find useful for many applications. Tonight, this two meter stick will have this shape cut out, shaped, and tied to it in a removable manner such that it can be replaced. I hope you stay tuned. Here we are back. There's our project. I'm using this coping saw, which helps you cope and also cut nice little corners. And this clamp. If that's you out, well, I don't know. Can you call someone to borrow tools? Good luck, buddy. Gonna get messy out there. So what we're gonna do is just clamp this to the table. Do do do. I'm gonna get started cutting. <laughs> Backwards is always tricky. Oof.
rides board is cedar. If you were here right now, you could smell it. If you just saw that, but that's what I love about coping saws. Enough! Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, there's our shape cut out. I'm going to carve it to round it a bit. My plan originally was to make it fit this removable mitten, or sorry, a glove, which washed up on the shore here long ago, so that it can be a cleanable affixture. Know what I'm saying? Dun, dun, dun. Okay, some of you may remember last week's video, How to Make a Bent Knife with Nothing. Well, here we are back, still got the bent knife. As you can see, I've added some whipping around the, the handle part to give it a, a bit more width, because it's a tricky thing to hold on to. But I want to see if I can do some rounding with this for this project, uh, just to show you versatility. Uh, but first, a little sharpening, because you always sharpen before you carve, don't you? Here's our favorite rock. Just going to dip that in some water. Scooby-Doo. Perpendicular and away. Who remembers how to say that? Perpendicular and away. Perpendicular and away. What? No heat treating? That's correct. Stainless. You can heat treat it, I believe. I know I have. Does it make a difference? Eh, not really experienced enough to tell you one way or the other. I do know that I have owned many stainless repurposed tools over the years, knives specifically, that have clearly not been heat treated and have performed very well. Okay. I mean, honestly, cedar, you know. I could pull out a stone knife and show you how to carve with that. But we made this knife together, didn't we? So here it is. Of course, I didn't, I didn't sharpen the other side of it, so now I'm just desirous of a double-edged knife like I'm used to. Because my, my instinct was to just put this thing down in a move like this and be flicking out that way. But the, the blade is only sharp on that side and not this side, so... Complicated! What are you going to do? There's probably a move.
clearly use more wrapping. Well, live and learn. It is difficult. You wanted a spoon though, like You know, that's, that's going to do it. He said, fumbling away. You can see it. It wants to scoop. Okay. Let's not worry about it for now. We're making the finger of admonition. Not a spoon. It's a social engagement tool. Yes. Oh! Gotta go! Sorry for the interruption. I had to run outside. They were doing the 7 o'clock cheer. And the guy who owns all the horns, he needs to represent. You know how it is. Where are we at? Tricky one. People who didn't watch last week's video will be wondering, why is he using this weird knife? That is such a weird knife. And that's all about context, isn't it? Close? I'm probably kidding myself. Oh, no. It's pretty much ready to rock and roll. I might, I might glue that, those fingers up there, It'll look good. Effective, hmm. Doink, doink. Okay, that's just a test run.
Now, we know the glove fits on it, but now we've got to make it, make the stem fit inside of the bamboo stick, uh, which is just carving. Ta-da! My thing is to take the end of it and carve it down nice and close and a little taper until you're in the gate of the entryway. Once you're there, you get an idea very quickly of how much more you have to take off. As you can see, I am not yet quite close. So, that means it's now easy to estimate how much of all of this can go, right? Because it's we're not even there yet. Those of you familiar with my techniques will know that I don't normally carve this much using what we around here call carrot peeler style because it is bad for your thumb, a little bit dangerous. That being said, my camera setup is not so good as to show you chest pry technique or chest pull, whatever we call it, which I don't know. Trying to act like a total raving weirdo in a field house. But that might be my trajectory. Okay, so again, this width was still too much. So we're going to go down further yet. Close we get. A little curly grain in there. Always fun. Fun, fun, fun. Curly grain. So exciting. Okay, so we know we've got the width we need, or gauge, I guess is maybe the word. Maybe if I move in a little closer, you'll be able to see this. Slightly easier move, putting it on my sternum and doing the little rock pull towards me. Thing I chose that. Not straight grain to carve my straight peg. Ooh. Now, I haven't said this yet, but we do have a problem. Uh, not unsolvable, but the node in this bamboo ends right there, meaning the chamber closes off. 
So I have to, uh, I have to get that opened up. There's an easy technique. Let me show you. Okay, so here we are. I've got this nail. I've got this hammer. And uh, I'm just going to stick the fat end of the nail inside against the closure where the node ends or begins, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to hit that until it goes through. And guess what? You can see it went through right away. Tink. You make out that hole in there? There it is. So that's it. Find another spot. Make the hole a little bigger. Oh my god, I'm having so much fun on the internet! Is that a little further open? There we go. There it is, all bashed open. I'm going to grab a file and come back. Well, here's my file. You've already seen my nail. You've already seen my hammer and my wicked awesome homemade bent knife. At this point, you might be overwhelmed with jealousy at my tool collection and ready to quit. I don't want you to quit. I don't. However, I, I don't know what to tell you at this point. If you don't own any tools, you're going to be an observer in this apocalypse. And baby, you need to make stuff. This has not got to be much fun to watch. Well, we I'm filing. Filing, filing, filing. La, 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 la. Filing, filing, filing. La, 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 la. Everyone sings that song here. When they're filing. Oh yeah, my taxes. I just remembered those. Oh well. Oh, well. I guess you could drill it out. Ta da! What's the term for a peg in a hole connection in woodworking? Is it mortise and tenon? Is that it? Or is that more like dovetailing? Oh, I should have paid more attention. I'm getting dead, never said much. Uncle Hunky's Suggestive Movements Channel. Just 
edit that part out. Okay. There it is. Oh, it's in. Now, in order to prevent this, uh, hold on. There's our basic shape. There's the uh, tenon. Would that be the tenon? Let's call it the peg. There's the hole. There it is. Fitted in. Nice. Like in the look. Uh, next is to drill a hole through here for a peg, which makes it stay in place. That's an important detail. Okay. Before we drill, I'm going to put a little piece of tape on here, which helps the bamboo to have a clean cut on a drill hole. What? You don't own any tape? I, uh, I heard you. I spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to do things without tools, so that you guys can just do stuff anyway, right? But the truth is, I'm rich. Rich like a king. Okay, we're back. Ta-da! Here's Mr. Drill. Oh, slidey. Come on, you! Oh, yeah! Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yep. I drilled a hole. So, I'm going to carve a little flange around this to hold the string in place because the surface of bamboo is very slippery. And rather than worry about that, I want to just carve a little flange to keep it in place and then I'll bind this up making it stronger and then uh, carve a peg to go in the hole and I think we should be done all right and this angle is bad for TV Score a line on this side anyway. Maybe we'll flip it around. Okay, wait for it. So, carve a little flange in the edge of that. scored it earlier, it makes it a little, a little easier to pull back. I'm just carrot peelering this so that when it slides it can only go so far. Just looking for a little flange there. Don't need to get a lot of material off, but you want, you want it to be a narrow spot so that the, the whipping, the string, can only go so far. That'll make sense in a minute if you don't know what I'm talking about.
Okay. That's pretty good. I mean, it'll work. Stay tuned. I have this nice thick stuff gifted to me by my friend Ken Clark, which is industrial strength uh, creosote soaked cord. So it's pleasantly stinky. And uh, the price is right because he gave it to me. So I'm just going to cut off a little, probably too much of it since there's a mile. And we will begin by putting a knot on the end. That's going to help me pull. And then here's our stick. The whipping knot Oop. is a loop with a handle down below. And you cross over your cross over your pulling segment right there at the base of the knot and you start wrapping it around. You gotta hold it in place while you get some around. Cross over your your crossover, get that loop up nice and high. Not gonna need that much, just gotta get over the end. And you keep going. Dink. See that? There's two. There's three. If I keep it nice and tight, I can pull that, that one back a little, tighten it up. There, I've got some tension. Get lots of tension on it. The other way is to roll this, but this is being a very long stick. I'm just going to hoink on it like a goon. There we are. I don't want to go crossing over the rib, the, the lip that we've carved on there, right? But right where I'm at, I want to tuck it into the loop. Boop. Don't lose my tension. Boop. Come on, you. Get that down to the base of the loop. There we go. Cross it over. And hold it. Ooh, so I can see. And there's the piece with the knot on it at the end. I'm just going to grab that now. Stick the stick against the wall so I can really pull on it. And you see it pulling out my loop. Now it's grabbed oh, the last roll around. Yeah, it should tuck it just in underneath the rest of the whipping. That's got plenty of plenty of pull on it now. That is hard to do on camera. Oh, dear daddy! Okay, there it is. Now the ends of that can be just cut off and that can be a nice clean knot that will not allow your, your, your bamboo or wood of any sort really to, to crack open. That's an extremely useful knot. Um, because I like string, I'm just gonna tie a knot on these two ends and that will give me this extra cord with which to do other things like tie on, you know, decorative stuff. Once we form into wandering tribes, we're going to want decoration. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. Well, that can be left for now. There it is. Dun, 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 dun. Now to carve the peg. Got to carve the peg. Here's our friend Close, and here's our friend Enough. From one of these, I'm going to carve a peg. Now I'm looking at that, and see all this curly grain down here. That's just a warning sign that carving something straight out of that is going to be trouble. So enough of that. But this, this looks pretty, pretty straight. I bet you I could, I could. Uh, Crack off a piece of that and carve a nice little peg. Okay. So I gotta I gotta crack that open. Hit that with something. What have I got? Oh, there's Mr. Clamp. Mr. Clamp. 
is useful in a pinch. There's that. Don't do this at home, kids. <laughs> Especially with a two-sided knife. Okay, pretend I didn't do that. Hoopa. from last time. Getting the peg in the hole involves carving the very tip into a, a more extreme taper to get in through the gate. Now I'm using cedar which is weaker material. It's not the end of the world. There I'm in. Now, having rolled it in the hole, if I can get it to focus, you'll see that it's given itself a little shoulder by pushing against the wood. You see that? That's my guide. So now, Forgive my wandering hands, it's uh, not a professional studio. Not a professional filmmaking studio, I should say. Professional instrument making studio, of course. The highest standards of foo horn manufacture. To no one's surprise. It's a little disconcerting when you see all of the clown posters. Especially if you're really, really afraid of clowns. But, uh, you know, that's a very fixable problem, may I say. If you're afraid of clowns, become a clown. It's what you're truly afraid of, anyway. It's not like it's a permanent position. Clowns are some of the most unemployed people in the world. Do, do, do. Oh, I wandered off again. To carve up here, don't I? Do, 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 do. Oh, and we're through. Awesome. That's good news. I think I'll round the tip on this. Goodness, what amazing footage! Okay. Ta da! All right, back for the fitting. Here's the end of our very long stick project. It is whipped, drilled, and it is hollowed out on the inside at the node to accept. 
this our project which fits in just like that and is pegged thus eh, eh. Oh, it's supposed to be smooth on TV come on yeah. Yeah. Oh, got it an upside down. That's what's going on, I think. Yes. There we go. Boom. Not coming off. So if somebody grabs your too close hand indicator, thus contaminating it, they will not easily pull it off. You will have time to wrest it from their grasp, run home, and disinfect heavily. But wait, for safety, why not a barrier condom glove? Did I say condom? I was just kidding. A prophylactic barrier glove. Time for some trials. Okay, buddy. That's close enough. That's close enough. Go step back. Go on, go back. Go on. Ah. Get off of my lawn. Get off of my lawn. Uncle Hunky's fabulous horn. Shop pop 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 pop. Okay, removable. Apocalypse. 